and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews Top 5. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Today we are going to talk about the Holy Grail. The bourbons that are best under $20. What do we got for number 5? So before we, before we start out, let's, let's talk about the rules. The rules are under $20. So it has to be under $20 for a fifth. Um, not for a pint. Um, we also talked about uh, 1.75. So we mm -hmm. had a few that 1.75s that were $39.99. Which half of that would be would be less than twenty dollars so, for a fifth. But we decided not to do that because a lot of the fifths were still close to that. So it has to be under twenty. It can't be twenty one. Mm -hmm. Can't be twenty forty nine. This is based on we're basing our prices off total wines prices mm -hmm. uh, off their website. So um, bourbon's under twenty bucks. Uh, it's there's not a ton under twenty bucks, but there are some gems. What can we get for under twenty dollars? That's the yeah, that's the question. Number five. Also, really quick before we say number five, uh, we are not going. We know that there are ch way cheaper bourbons out there. Um, we're talking ten, twelve dollar marks. Uh, we mostly left those off, with the exception of our low rent, like maybe one or two on the list, mm -hmm. and that's because they're good. So <laughs> we're talking about really good bourbon. That is just barely under twenty dollars. So, all right, you want to whip out the number five? The number five. We only have this in a handle. Evan Williams. This is a very good bourbon. It is. Uh, what, what is it for a fifth? It's uh, ten ninety nine. It's slightly over ten dollars. Uh, this this was a Black Friday special, but uh, I think you can get a handle like this, like twenty one dollars for a handle. It's not um, bad. It's it's cheap. Uh, for what it costs, it is fairly quality. Also, uh, it is 43% alcohol by volume, so point that out. You want to go mm -hmm. ahead and get down there, put it on down there. Right ahead. Put her on down there. Number four. The number uh, four. We talk about this one a lot on the show. It's, um, it's difficult. Our number four is going to be a <laughs> one we talk about on the show a lot. This is my go-to cheap bourbon. And this is Benchmark Old Number 8 Brand. I like it. It's a brand on there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. It's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's 40% alcohol by volume. This is actually a distilled model by the Buffalo Trace. So this is just like like not good Buffalo Trace. This is, this is uh, actually what Buffalo Trace takes their higher end bourbons, and if they don't quite make the cut, this is what it gets bottled as. So sometimes you get a fantastic bottle of Benchmark, and sometimes you get just an average bottle of Benchmark. But Never. for $10 a bottle, it's, it's, it's not bad. Um, and I think in I think it's ten dollars in Kentucky, but I believe in most other states it's closer to twelve. Mm. Um, but you know we are the bourbon capital of the world, so makes sense. We get a little bit of a discount, it's, right? It's important that we get our that we get our slightly cheaper bourbons. Our number three comes in at the nineteen ninety nine mark. Ladies and gentlemen, Bullet Bourbon, probably one of the most recognized budget bourbons out there, just because of movies and TV. Uh, it's good. It is got the crooked label on it that everyone recognizes. So this isn't a this isn't this is a pint, mm -hmm. but uh, in, in a fifth it is nineteen ninety nine. So it does meet our qualifications as of total wine. It is slightly hotter than the rest of the bourbons we have on uh, to choose from, uh, but it is as far as hot bourbon goes, it's pretty good and it doesn't cost a whole lot. Substantially, look at the color difference between those. Mm. So we had some issues with number four we picked out four roses mm -hmm. four roses is a pretty good number four you can get a, a a fifth for how much how much is a fifth a fifth is fifteen dollars here in kentucky it is fifteen dollars specifically fifteen twenty nine here's the secret of buying four roses uh four roses small batch so we can't on our list, we're gonna keep regular four roses on there for under twenty dollars. So regular four roses is very good for twenty uh, for fifteen dollars. So yeah, if if go for that. But if you if you have twenty three dollars, yeah, twenty two, twenty three um, plus tax, uh, get small batch if you can. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as our list goes, we're gonna keep regular four roses on there. Mm -hmm. now, four roses is a good choice. Before we hit our number one, uh, we're gonna have a few honorable mentions. Uh, Everybody talks about Jim Beam, but I'm not going to say Jim Beam specifically. I'm mm -hmm. going to talk about their bottle of bonnet or their um, bottle of bonnet is good black um, uh, or their um, devil's cut, devil's cut or double O. Those are all under. Those are all twenty dollars or less. Mm -hmm. um, 
I definitely recommend those. Also, I'm going to say Buffalo Trace. Um, this one specifically, um, it's forty dollars for a one point seven five, mm -hmm. but for a fifth, it runs like twenty two dollars. So it's just a little bit out of our price range. So we're going to put that as an honorable mention as well. Yep. Buffalo Trace is a really good choice if you're going to buy a handle. Um, we probably it probably would have been number one if it would have made if it was in the right price range. Yeah. So our number one is one we don't have on the show. We haven't had it in a while. Um, but it is Wild Turkey 101. Mm -hmm. Wild Turkey 101 is, it's a little on the hot side. It is, it's, I mean, it's 101 proof. It's yeah. fairly alcoholic. But it is, uh, there is also a rare breed which you can get, but that's a little bit more expensive. That is, I think that's in the $30 range. Yeah. And then obviously the American honey and all those good stuff. Yeah, the flavored ones are really good, but Wild Turkey 101, if you're into bourbons, is baseline for a very good bourbon under $20. Mm -hmm. And it is at the $18.99 mark. So it's right there. Mm -hmm. Again, um, very good mixer. Um, very good. I would say um, Wild Turkey is the best mixer on the show, probably out of all these we've mentioned. Still definitely drinkable uh, straight. Oh, absolutely. But with ice. And I don't say that a whole lot about bourbon, but if you're going to go with Wild Turkey 101, put some ice in it. Just dilute it just a little bit. Another one I want to mention, and it's available in very limited quantities, that's why it's not on the list, is <laughs> W.L. Weller. Oh, that um, is actually pretty good. We, yeah. had, we reviewed it on the show a long time ago, uh, per recommendation from a liquor store employee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seventeen ninety nine for a uh, fifth, which is a great deal. But... Again, it's really, really hard to find, so it I didn't want to... It is a little bit unfortunate. It's even hard to find it. here, so I didn't even want to put it on the list for that reason. Yep. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see more top fives on the channel, you can leave a comment down there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching.